are back. Wanna welcome you back to life with the Koga. Hey, me and the wife, we chilling tonight, having an evening to ourselves for a minute. But uh, the wife got this family deal going on. And uh, what is it now, honey? Can't let the family know what we got going on tonight. What you mean, family deal? So, we were tagged by Shanti's Lifestyle. Yeah. Um, and the tag is loving the one I'm with. Tag. Oh. So, she um, tagged us to do this. So, we we going to answer a couple of questions. And I wrote all the questions down. So, he don't know what I'm about to ask him. So, I don't know his answers. He don't know mine. So, this is going to be a first. So, 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 wait a minute now. So, what is this we doing? It's a tag. Loving the one I'm with tag. So, I'll ask him questions, and he have to answer. And then I have to answer the same questions that he answers. Why are you talking to them? You supposed to be explaining that to me. They, ain't they don't know. Well, well, you know, I'm asking you questions, and you're you going to give me your answer, and I'm going to give you mine. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to get this started. All right. So the first question is, name one thing I've owned that you hated the most. So we answering this about each other? Yeah, who else we going to answer it about? All right, so I'm going to do it, then you going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to ask you the question. All right. You going to answer it. So, so the question it's- is to us then. Huh? So I'm going to say something that I don't like, then you're going to say something that right, you like. Right, right. Well, you go first. No, I'm asking the question. <laughs> 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 I, I'm answering the question. I don't like that question. Well, say it again. You say can't, it again. No, you got to answer the question. All right, All right y'all. Now, he playing around say now. Say it again. And I give you time to think about it. You ain't got to just, you know, I give you a few minutes. All right. Okay, question number one. Come on. Name one thing that I've owned that you hated the most. Hmm. Let me think about it. One thing. Baby, we've been together a long time. One thing. It can only be one. I don't know. That's a good question. Okay, well, let me go while he think about it then. All right. So, I know one thing. We had this. Y'all know how we had when you um have the class shirts from high school. That's one thing that I hated. We going there? And I'm going to tell you why I hate it. Because it had bleach stains and all kind of different stains on it and... I just holes in it, and he just used to wear it all the time. I still got that shirt. No, I threw that shirt away. And no wonder I couldn't find my shirt. <laughs> so that's that's one thing that I hated. You oh my goodness, that shirt! I you I couldn't stand. Then y'all, you threw my shirt away. Then it was too little. So like the arm instead of the sleeves being the sleeves way up here, y'all. It's a mess. It was a mess. How okay, many, come on. How many, how many people in our class you know still go wear their shirt? That's fine if it was in good condition, y'all. It it had all kind of stains. Oh my goodness, he just just what, what's your answer? I remember one time the wife had these sandals, a house shoes or something, and I couldn't stand them house shoes, and I went to Dillard's. And bought her some sixty, seventy. Like you remember them leather shoes I bought you, them house shoes. Mm. I heard it was some leather house shoes. The slip on they were they were brown. Remember I bought you them because you had some raggedy little house shoes I didn't like, and I went and bought them shoes so you wouldn't have to wear them no more. I don't remember that, but you remember that shirt. I'm mad about my shirt. Uh, I'm mad about my Christmas tree. We ain't gonna even go back to that. Let's go to question number two. <laughs> Can you threw my Christmas tree away? God. My Christmas tree. I done had that shirt since I had that Christmas tree for like five years. God. I'm gonna find me. I'm, somebody, somebody online made that. I'm gonna find me another shirt. Question number two. Uh huh. If you never met me, what would you be doing? If I never met you, what would I be doing? I'd probably still be working. 
Um, I don't know if I would have went to the army or not. I might have went to the army family. I and, think you would have. Uh, yeah, I might have went to the army because I was I was real headstrong about going into the military when we was in high school. Uh, but me and the wife got married, and then that's when the war broke out, and I was like, forget that. I ain't going nowhere. Nah. So, but if we wasn't together, I think I would have went in the military. I don't know. I know I wouldn't have kids. If we wasn't together? Mm-mm. You, you wouldn't know if you wouldn't have kids. We'd have been married for almost 20 years. I, I, I wouldn't have had any kids. If we wasn't together? Mm-mm. So from 1999 out of high school, all the way to If right I wouldn't now, have never met you, I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't know. I really don't know. You would have had a kid. I don't think I would have. If I wouldn't have been married, I wouldn't have had a kid. You would have had a kid. So anyway, listen, you can't tell me my answer. This is my answer. <laughs> <laughs> you going to try to tell me my answer. So I anyway. I think you would have went 20 years without having at least one kid. Anyway, it said, what would I be doing? Mm-hmm. How old would you be know. doing? I know I probably would be working somewhere. I still, you know, I think, mean. Think you'd be doing cakes? Hey, cake you cake mm I don't think I'd be doing cakes like I am now because, you know, the kids play the part in, you know, me starting it because I want to stay home with them. So I really don't know. I probably would have ended up doing the, you know, I wanted to get into the forensics. I was into that. So you would have went to school? I probably would have went to school for that. You wouldn't have done no forensics. I would have, yeah, and I would have been coming to Bebo's for you to clean my ride. Because <laughs> you would have still been at Bebo's. I was in high school. So? So I would have still been there 20 years watching cars? I don't know. I would have passed you up oh. in that car. <laughs> do you know what I do now? I'm the chief where I am. Right Let's now. go to question number three. Y'all see how he? Y'all see how he taking all his time on these questions? She's gonna put me down like that. Like I'm gonna still be working at the car. What? Whatever. I honestly don't know. I don't know what I be. I guess that's what I be doing. I really don't know. People call me boss where I'm at. You hear me? Why are you still on it? I'm just saying. Don't be putting me down like I'm going to still be watching cars. This was way back. He said, if you never met me, what would you be doing? That's what I said. But okay, well, I'm going way back then. <laughs> Y'all, he just so, oh, my goodness. Question number three. Come we on. just spent how long on it? Come one on. question. Number three, come on. Name one word to describe me. Magnificent. Why are you how you gonna say that one real quick? That's one word. You said name one word. You ain't gonna think about it? No, I don't have to think about that. Magnificent. You, you want another one? No, I want you to break that down. Break that word down for me. What you mean? No, 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 no. The question wasn't break the break the <laughs> word down. Well, you explain down. everything else. But that wasn't the question. You said give me one word. You didn't tell him I had to break it down. Okay. My answer would be name one word to describe you. How can you put <laughs> all, of, all of this in the one word? <laughs> I would say laid back. Laid back. Mm-hmm. Laid back. Laid back. I think you magnificent. And you're going to say Lay back. You supposed to say he man, Superman, son. You said lay back. That's that's you though. It is. So let me explain it. The reason I say lay back. Please do. Slash calm. <laughs> <laughs> because that the reason I say that is because he balanced me out. You know, Demetrius is very laid back. And I go from zero to a hundred. Well, you confess? And, <laughs> and he balanced me out, you know. So that's why I say he's laid back, which is that's a good thing. Yeah. 
He's a very laid back person. If we are in a rush to get somewhere, he still go the same speed. He's doggone right. Slow you down. When you rush, you forget stuff. All that. For example, for you, for those that watched the grocery store video, you know, the little incident in the grocery store with the lady. <laughs> he was real laid back. He thought it was funny. Wow. Ain't no need to get upset. But, you know, that's why I say I like, you know, we balance. It's, I mean, I can say a lot more, but yeah. when I think about you, that's what I would say. I mean, it's a lot more that I can say, mm -hmm. you know, to describe him. But that's the thing when I, if anybody met him, they would say he's laid back. Okay. I like so. it. Well, since you, you know, explained it, I like it now. So, I can live with it. And then, you know, these questions, these are questions that we didn't even go over. So, it's just like, I probably think of something after the fact. Well, when you asked me, I went straight to it, man. You see how that came out? But you didn't break it down. You didn't explain it. I don't have to break down magnificent. Let me tell y'all something. The ship don't go unless the wife is on the ship. You feel what I'm saying? Things just don't go right. Unless the wife ain't involved. If the wife ain't got her hands in it, it just don't go right. I could try to be doing stuff for the kids. I remember one time family I was cooking. And them joker told me, it's all right, but it don't taste like mama's. Really? She come in, add one ingredient, family, to my meal. One ingredient to my meal, kids. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, come on now. Come on, you getting out a lot. I'm just come saying. On. I'm just saying. Okay. So this is a good one right here, y'all. So, um, have you ever lied to keep from getting in trouble with me? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'll do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> so you said you're going to do it some more? I'll do it in a heartbeat. Heck yeah. Okay, what you... Give me an example of what you lied about. Well, keep getting in trouble. Well, I ain't saying it like that, but what I'm saying is, is, well, you know, I don't like to argue anyway. So, if I if I got to do something to keep the argument down or keep things running smooth, I might fudge it a little bit. So, you're a liar. Oh. Now I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you, answer, you answer that quick. You heck yeah. Well, well, I even got the question asked. I'm at. just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. I don't like being in trouble. That's fine. Well, my answer is yeah, too. <laughs> I think every mate has lied to their mate to keep from getting in trouble. So, for an example, like if my husband say, if I'd have been gone... And let's say we got somewhere to go. And uh, he'll say, well, how far are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm around the corner. Y'all, I could be 30 minutes away. You know, <laughs> and I tell him I'm around the corner so I won't have to hear his mouth. You know, you be doing, I be like, down around the corner like five minutes. I'm glad you're telling me this. Yeah. I'm glad, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> On to the next question. I promise you, I don't know nobody that. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. It may be some couples out there. Um, that well, know. well, they lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next. <laughs> what is my most repeated phrase? Oh, family. <laughs> Go back in some of the videos <laughs> and watch the wife when she be talking to y'all. She gonna say, you know, you know. <laughs> You know. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. You know. <laughs> I thought that you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know. Oh, okay. All right, that's it. That's it. And family, sometimes I be getting small and she get mad. She get, she say, baby, you, you know, you know. I be like, nah, baby. I don't know. What you talking about? <laughs> okay. So you done because I'm going to get to my part. What you got? Okay. So, his is, I wouldn't say so much. Well, I guess it's not the same. It start off as the same phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me tell y'all what I mean. So, what he do is, when you ask him something, mm -hmm. then he answer back with what you asked him. Okay, so here we go. So, I can say, 
well, what you ate today? Okay, so he'll answer back, what you mean what I ate today? <laughs> or I say, what time you went to bed? What you mean what time I went to bed? Like, he, you know, he don't never just answer. It's always a question. I mean, you know, he answered me the same thing that I asked him. Do you do that? Why? Because I want to know why. Why you want to know why? Because I want to know why. See what I'm saying? You asking me that. What you ate at work today? Why? No, what you usually say is, what you mean? What? When he say that, that means he didn't have something he was supposed to have at work. See, see, that's why I be asking, because she be trying to figure out stuff. So I, I want to know why she asked me that, because when she asked me something, there's always something behind it. There's a reason behind it. So I want to know why she asked me that. Am I right? Question number six. Oh! Am I right? Name one thing that I can eat every day. One thing, it's a couple things, but I know one thing she probably could eat every day is uh, uh, snow crabs. Oh, yeah, I can. She can eat snow crabs every day. Well, y'all done seen us do a few uh, mukbangs, or mukbangs. But uh, snow crabs, I think she can she could eat, she eat them every day if she could. Yeah, that'll be expensive to eat them every day. It would, but I know you'll eat them, though. They do be good. I would say, I would say Drake. It ain't so much eat. I Coca-Cola. Don't think I, oh. So you had to be specific with the family, because you say drink, and, and you know, we got family in New York and Chicago. Oh, they'll be thinking I'm a drunk. Yeah, they'll be thinking you So you got to be specific. Coca-Cola. Yeah, when well, we, we down <laughs> south, see, when y'all live up there in the... And in the north, y'all say soda or pop or something like that. But we say drink mm-hmm. down here, and that means like cocoa. I think somebody thought that. I was like, what they, what they mean, alcoholic? <laughs> 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 okay, let me see. Hmm. I would say, man, I can't be, I got a name. One, one can I, I would say, Hmm. It's this place he go to that sell fish. Tilapia. What that? Um, American Deli. I think he can eat that every day. Mm, that ain't American Deli. What it's, is uh, it? It's a wing spot. Wing uh, stop? Wing station or something. Wing like that. station. Anyway, it's this place where he can go and he can. He would eat that tilapia every day. Because that's that place I saw on the bank out almost every day. And I already knew. I already knew when I seen that 879. He had the minute to get that bitch. (laughs) You heard? (laughs) On the bank out. Yeah. Boy, you already know we we don't have no we don't have no separate accounts around here. I'm getting a separate account. Hmm. You're not gonna be watching what I speak. Come on, this ain't even about that. This is about your favorite. You getting all off the subject. I'm yeah, he be talking about I'm getting off the subject. Nah, he going she on. Te- she telling me everything and I'm listening. She don't think you I'm listening. You already knew that. Cause I already fussed at you about that food truck all the time. That's why you I was just learning a lot about you. Mm. I guess that's what these questions for. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait for this one. What is your funniest memory of me? You go first. You want me to go? Okay, I'm ready to go first on this one. So, y'all, I got to put the tablet down. Oh, so you can take your time, but I can't take my time. Well, see, it's just certain question. When I saw this question, I already knew I ain't have to think about it. Because uh-huh. I was just laughing about it the other day. So, y'all, we was at the flea market. And so, for those of y'all that don't know, he already know what I'm finna say. For those of y'all that don't know what a flea market is, it's like a big market that have different, you know, vendors selling different items or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, we was in the flea market on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. It was packed, y'all. I'm talking about it with so many people. So, Demetrius thought he saw one of his high school Friends, this guy, you know, they oh, were really, no high school. That was my best childhood friend. best friend. Nah. Can I get my? Go this ahead. is Go my ahead. answer. Go ahead. <laughs> so, 
He seen his childhood. You know I get off track, so don't stop me while I'm going. So he seen the guy that was his childhood friend, right? We, at this point, were adults. And he hadn't, you hadn't seen him since high school, right? I hadn't seen him in a while. He moved to another state. Okay. So, y'all, <laughs> he saw this guy. The guy, had, you know, was turned the opposite direction from us. And he was like, that goes show. He was like... I can't. I'm trying to get myself together, so I won't lay. He's like, "Hey, Sean, Sean." <laughs> he was like, "Hey, Sean, Sean." He called his name by five times. So, <laughs> just so happened, I need some tissue. So, just so happened, the guy turned around and then. <laughs> light you up right man that was too funny oh my goodness he was like Sean hey Sean Sean that dude turned around and it was Sean he was like oh. and I got mad too cause I thought that was Sean I mean from the back he looked exactly like Sean he turned around I said oh yeah he gonna try to say like, oh that ain't Sean no nah, I didn't boy you talking about the rest of the day. Yeah, you know how long that family. She still <laughs> family that was about 10 years ago. And she still laugh about that right now to this day. Y'all would have had to be there to see the look on his face. He was like, oh, and I was just sitting in the background just waiting on him to turn around. It's like he was trying to take forever to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just me and him just cracking up in the middle of the flea market. <laughs> So is it my oh. turn? Wait a minute. I got to get myself together. See, I knew when I saw that question, I already knew I was going to get out of So track. is Go it ahead. my turn? Yeah. All right, family. So mine is I get this phone call at work one day, and the wife called my cell phone. And all I hear, and she ain't say nothing at first. I said, baby, hello. She said, meet you. I said, yeah, what's up? She said, shh, 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 shh. I said, what's wrong? I'm getting nervous. I said, you need to stop. I said, baby, what? Look, I'm packing up. I'm heading home, y'all. I ain't doing it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No, I did. So, I see, look, she was, she was hyperventilating. Oh, yeah, I need look, some tissue. Look, you know she used to be have to have an asthma thing. Wait a minute, why you got what you need? Look, she family. She was breathing hard. I said, but calm down. Look, I'm steady heading to the car. Trap for to come home. I said, calm down. Tell me what's going on. I'm thinking somebody's breaking in the house or something. She, I said, Monica, what's wrong? There's a snake on the pot. <laughs> Family, she, <laughs> family, she had the front door of the house open, and we had we had a, a glass door that locks, so can't nobody come in the house. It's a glass door, so the snake was and came up on the porch, and she said, "He coming in, he coming in." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Baby, is he opening the door? He better come in. He better come in." <laughs> Look. Oh my goodness, I, I didn't even think you was finna tell that one. <laughs> that family, look, I came home and she had to came out the garage. So I'm looking in the front yard, I'm like, why is it tire tracks in the front yard? She done drove the truck in the grass. <laughs> she wasn't walking. <laughs> family, she wasn't walking through the yard. She drove the truck around the front yard looking for the snake. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what happened. So, Demetrius, when he got home, he told myself, I can hear you running through the house. <laughs> I was trying to find the camera because I was on the phone with him, and I ain't even think, you know, to FaceTime him so he could see it. So, anyway, my neighbor, I had called my neighbor to come. I know I was like, it's a snake. It's a snake on the porch. 
So she came now from she her house. She said she now, now her husband Shay came. Yeah, out yeah, my name was Shay. <laughs> so she came out. She came out and she was on the porch and I had the blinds open. And she would told, not open the door. And I would not open. She told me something. She all in the bushes looking for the snake, y'all. I'm like, are you serious? Get out the bushes looking for the snake. And if you want to come in, come through the garage and I let you in. I was not opening that door. So she all in the bushes looking for the snake. So I'm like, that snake was just right there. So I went into the garage, got in the truck, and then drove out the garage and drove around in front <laughs> on the grass. <laughs> and so Demetri, the reason he knew that they had just cut the grass like the day before. And we had all the nice pretty lines in the grass. Uh, and you see the, and you just see the tire big tire track. track. <laughs> I drove all the way up to the front of the house, y'all. I was not getting out that car. You almost was on the porch. I say she drove the truck all the way up here. And then my neighbor gonna talk about. Well, did he ring the doorbell? <laughs> I'm like, really? It was a snake out there on that porch. <laughs> that was funny, though. I looked all over that yard for that snake. I couldn't find him. So, what, a couple of days later? Probably like two days later, I was neighbor on the like, other side. Yeah, he killed one in his yard. And uh, he had him up. He was a little small snake. I said, Margaret, was that him? No! Nah! No, this snake will be. No, let me tell y'all what I was able to do. So I was pulling in the driveway, <laughs> and he kind of weighed me down. He was like, I didn't kill the snake. Is this the one you saw? And I'm like, hold on, hold on now. Back up. <laughs> he got it on the shelf. We're talking about, is this it? I'm like, you need to stay back there. And that is not the snake because it was bigger than that. And I'm thinking to myself, it made it even work because I'm like, oh, my goodness, that's two snakes. Oh, uh, look, family, we live in a, in a what you call this, a, a rural area. But, you know, out in the rural area, they putting all your nice subdivisions yeah, out. So all these nice new subdivisions out here, they knocking down all the wood. So where else do the animals have to go? If, you know, they still there, you know, so. But I'm like, well, why would they still be here? Because these houses are all around us. Yeah, you wouldn't think it was a snake round. Yeah, there. I, mean, I wouldn't have never. Nice yards and all that <laughs> stuff, but. They out here. And let me tell you, I had just walked in the house because that's when I had actually I had redone the porch. Remember, <laughs> yeah. I redone the porch, and I had just left from. I had got some um, I had bought some flowers and put them in our little flower pots and all that. Anyway, so I was getting ready. I was walking in the door. No, I went in the house to get some water to water the plants, mm-hmm. and I went to come out the house, and that's when I seen the snake. Oh, uh, what I called him. What I named, what I said that snake was? Was it Charlie or Fred or something? She, she didn't name the snake. I still can't find him. What it was, I named it. Cause I gotta, I gotta tell him what, uh, what Sydney said. Oh, uh, golly, I can't. Anyway, I had named the snake Chalk Curtis or something. Sad family. Sad. Fred or something. Anyway, so my neighbor, her daughter, what she was like, 10, 12? Probably about 11 or 12. 11 or 12. She was like, Miss Monica, I think I saw Fred the other day. <laughs> it was just so funny. But anyway, whatever I named the snake. So, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. glad I, I uh, That was the first and last one that I saw. Uh, I had my mama, guess what? She had hers, too. Next but question. yours, man, okay. When did you know I was the one? When did I know you was the one? Y'all see how he repeating all of these questions? I mean, that was easy, though, because we grew together in high school. So, I mean, it's like 10th grade. But that, but how did you know, though? Because at 10th grade, you had... You know, you had a lot of options. You had a lot more time. 10th grade, 11th grade, um, 12th grade. Then we were married right after high school. So I wasn't feeling nobody else. Um, I knew once we graduated, well, we was kind of planning it during our senior year. But I knew once we got out of High school, you know, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't, I wasn't feeling nobody else. I'm never, 
I never been the the playboy type anyway. So Mom can say I was. You are not playing player. Mom can say that's I a, was. That's a that's a conversation for another day. We ain't gonna even get in it. How, but how did you know though? Ooh. What you talking about? When I was with you, I don't y'all wasn't with nobody but you. Okay, honey, but how did you know? I what know was what I'm it? saying? I knew. I had you that good know? feeling. I just knew. I ain't play around with nobody else when me and you were together. That was it. I, I just knew. So you just knew. You can't, no words can explain it. I mean, I get no words can explain it. You know. Well, you on some other stuff tonight. <laughs> I don't know what you're on, but <laughs> you on Let me stuff. think. You done, honey? Yeah. Let me see. When did I know you was the one? Uh, mm, I don't know. It's so much. I don't know. I know. What you mean? Oh, so you know my answer? Yeah, I know your yeah. answer. Well, what is it? When, uh, when your grandmother passed, and I was there the whole time, uh, doing all of that stuff, I think you looked at me different then. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know, because I think I knew you was the one before then. Yeah. I don't know. You just was... That was like our, <laughs> like our first real date, though. Well, yeah, but we mm-hmm. was friends. So I was, you know... Mm-hmm. I probably don't need to say this because he gonna be trying to, you know... He gonna be feeling himself and all that. But we was friends at first. But, like, you know, in being friends with him, I kind of knew... You know what I'm saying? I knew you as a friend first mm-hmm. before we started dating. So it's like I started to see all of those, you know, good qualities that he had while we was friends. Mm-hmm. So that's when I start, you know, sabotaging all, you know, find telling, telling them stuff about his little girlfriends that he was dating and all that stuff. Cause I was like, hmm. Yeah, no girlfriend. I'm talking about when we was friends. You did have a girlfriend. We was friends. Oh, we was friends. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I started seeing all, you know, of those qualities because I didn't, when I was in high school, I didn't like dating high schoolers, you know, boys that was in high school. I I like dating boys that was out of school because I felt like they was more mature, you know, not saying all of them, but just with my experiences, I felt like boys that was in high school you know, were a little childish. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, I never dated, you know, Demetrius, I think, was the first guy that I dated that, you know, actually, I actually went to school with. So, I think I probably dated somebody else, but they didn't go to the same school, and they was like, See, folks could do that in back, a higher back grade. then, though. You can't do that now. So, I think for me, man, it's, I don't know, it's just so... It's so much that you did that made me feel like you was the one. I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to tell this story. When I really, really, it was a lot of things that, <clears throat> a lot of reason as to why, I'm trying to see how many more questions we had, mm-hmm. as to why I thought he was the one. But I think this was the one that really did it for me. What? So, and I know my mama ain't going to mind me telling this story. So, you know, growing up, it was Financially, it was tight, you know, for my mom or whatever. So, you anyway. Have, you don't have to tell little man. Go ahead. You, you don't mean? have to. Go ahead. That was in the past. You don't make me cry. Oh. So, don't cry, honey. So, <clears throat> he had on. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. I got to be hard. <laughs> so, um, we was... We, my mama, she always, when we got our, when she got the bills or whatever, she always spread them out on the table. So, anyway, um, we had a bill from Alabama Power. And so, our, um, power was about to get cut off. We had a disconnection notice. And so, she had it on the table. And I didn't, you know, 
it was just that I knew what we had going on or whatever. I never said nothing to Demetrius. So, not know you know, all of us were sitting at the table, not knowing that <clears throat> he had this thing, the disconnect notice. Because as you know, when you have a disconnect notice, you know, it's in red or whatever color it's in. So, um, what I didn't know was he called my mama and told her that he had saw the disconnect notice. And long story short, he had gave her the money to pay the power bill. So, you know, I didn't know that until she told me. He never told me, you know, that he had done this. So, you know, I was just like, I just, you know, I just, you know, because what, and we were still in, in school, right? We were still in high school. Like, we wasn't out of high school. We wasn't grown. We were still in high school because both of us worked. He had a job and I had a job in high school or whatever. But, yeah. you know, him doing that, he didn't have to do that. So, that mm. just... You crying? You mm. trying to cry? I mean, you trying to leave? Yeah, I'm sucking it up, you know. Oh. So, you know, that, for me, that was my... <clears throat> I'm like, man, I already knew he was a good dude, you know. But... Don't cry, honey. I already knew he was a good dude, but that right there, that just, you know, I was like, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I saw other people tags, and I seen other couples trying to hold it in, you know, but, man, these questions get you to, you know, get your mind to going back and stuff like that, but <clears throat> for me, that's why I really wanted to think on that question. That was... That was my mom. That was good. Okay. So, what makes me happy? What makes me sad? What makes you happy and what makes you sad? Hmm. What makes you happy and what makes you sad? That's kind of easy, <clears throat> but it's kind of hard at the same time because... My wife is not one of those women where she wants the new Gucci pocketbook purse or something like that. She's not into all that stuff. Um, so that's where it makes it hard because the simplest things can make her happy. And I'll say with me, I'm so laid back if if I take my time and do something and go out of the way and do something for her I think that makes her happy or uh, that would make her happy and that makes her happy and I think uh, just I don't know just things going well like they should be with the family I think that makes her happy also but it's kind of hard because, you know, I don't, you know, she's not into all this materialistic things. So I can't say, oh, I just bought her a new pocketbook or I just bought her a, a brand new car and she's flipping out or something like that. Because, I mean, she uh, now she she's been talking about a new truck. Now I'm pretty sure if I go get a new Escalade, then she she might flip out about it because she's been talking <laughs> about it. But. I don't know. I think that's some of the some of the small things that that make my wife happy. Uh, I come up to her and say, "Baby, let me rub your back," uh, something mm -hmm. like that, or "Let me rub your feet." You know, stuff like that makes her happy. It's unusual, but that's the way my wife is. Okay, what make me say it? Uh, what make you say it? Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't see you say it too often. I don't see you say it too often. Uh, I don't know. I don't see you say it too often. Maybe aggravated or something. We, you know, if we, you know, we got kids, so our yeah. kids try to play us against each other. So that she might get aggravated or something. But for it's just sad, I don't get to see my wife sad. I hadn't seen that probably since we first got married or something like that. 
But I had just seen you say it before. Just real sad. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me see. What make you happy? I would say um when his family is happy. Mm-hmm. I would say when when you when you know that me and the kids are happy, that just make you happy. Right. So <clears throat> that's what I would say as far as what would make you happy. What would make you sad? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I do know what'll make me sad. What? You know, I don't like to see people doing other people wrong. Oh, okay. okay. There's one thing. You know, there's... Oh, oh mm. I can't stand it. Right. You right. know, like, if I see somebody treating somebody else wrong, mm-hmm. I can't stand it. Like... Yeah, the wife get all teary-eyed. Yeah. Stuff like, that. <clears throat> like, if I see an older person or something, and then, you know, they grown child or somebody talking to him wrong or doing, you know, oh, I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, somebody bullying somebody. I've always been like that. Like, in school, if somebody was bullying somebody, I'd go up there, you know, I'd say something to them because I couldn't stand for, you know, people to do people wrong. So, I think that, that'll make me sad. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to think of what'll make you sad. I don't I think uh-huh. something that would make me sad if I couldn't provide for my family. And I think that yeah. go that goes into what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just how I am. I mean, I go without. Uh, I don't say I have to go without, but I want my wife and kids to have before I have. Uh, I want them to eat before I eat. That's just how I am. My wife get upset about it because I won't go buy me. If I if she don't buy me stuff, I won't buy it. I won't have it. And she'll fuss at me. Why don't you go buy this? Or I see a pair of jeans or some shoes or something and I won't get it. But we'll turn around and go buy the kids something or something like that. And I won't say nothing. That's just how I am. I want them to be okay before I get something. That's just me. So if I think something that would make me sad would be that I couldn't. Something would happen where I couldn't provide for my mm-hmm. family. That'll just tap me up. Okay. We gotta get through these questions, babe. This the last question. Okay. Okay. When you look at me, what do you see? I see love. That's what I see. Oh, that's what my shirt say. Oh, oh my. God. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> I knew what you was going to say. You, you knew that? You see love? I, that's what I actually, actually, I mean, it's funny, but that's what I see. Because that's the type of person that you are. Uh, you show it soft. You show it hard. And you show it kind. Any kind of way that love needs to be shown, that's the way you show it. Uh, tough love. You show it. Mm-hmm. And, but that's what I see. That's what I see. Hmm. What do... <clears throat> when I look at you, what do I see? Hmm. Man, it, what make these questions so hard is you can only say one thing. Mm. Mm. I would say strong. Hmm. You agree? Uh, uh, you talking about me? I would say... <laughs> I would say strong because my husband is a very strong person. Um, I don't know. Just... I don't know how to... You know, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain. He's just a very strong man. It's hard for one. Maybe I need to change my word. Yeah. Change your word. Um, yeah, I'm going to just keep it as strong. Okay. I think you're a strong person. Why? 
Oh my goodness. Um, I would say you know it take it take. I'm not a man, but you know it takes a lot for a man to, you know. I would say, lead. <laughs> Lead his family. You know, us mothers, we have to do a lot, you know, in the household. But, you know, a real man leads his family. You know, he has his wife, his children, you know, whoever else to lead. And I think that's a big responsibility. You know, when you're doing it the right way. When you lead your family the right way. Okay. Thank okay. you. So, I do, I think, you know... He's a strong... I, it's hard... You know why I keep kind of just... Because it's hard to just say one word. You know. You know. I can't stop. <laughs> so, yeah. I would say strong. Okay. I would say strong. I hope y'all hadn't clicked off yet. Because I know this has been a long vlog. A video. That's all good. But those are the questions. So, um, you got anything else you want to say? I love you. I love you, too. So, those are the questions. And so, we want to tag um, Kayla and Freddie. Mm -hmm. um, the name of their channel is Day to Day Davis. And so, I'll um, put their... Um, channel in the description box but it's the word day and the number two day davis so i want to tag them to do this um loving the one i'm with tag so i had fun Loving it's fun. man you know just to have these questions and ask them and then come up with an answer it was kind of hard wasn't that bad you know because i didn't want to go over the questions before i wanted us to you know, get an answer that on camera. Okay. All right, baby. Well, that's it. All right. We appreciate it. And uh, family, we thank y'all for watching. And hey, tell the family to subscribe. Thumbs up the video. Leave us some comments, too. You know, I like responding back. Most of them responds be from me, it, well, if y'all know it or not. Most of them responds be from the boy. But uh, if it's some girly questions, I let the wife answer them. But, hey, I appreciate it, man. It's fun. And, um, man, we just appreciate all of the new family uh, that yeah. has joined our channel, man. All the new family, man, from from Houston, from from the Bronx, from uh, Chicago, uh, from South Carolina, uh, Atlanta. Man, the family been hitting us up, man. Man, we appreciate y'all. Yeah. We welcome everybody to the Coconut crew. Everybody, what's up? All the Coconuts, what's up? What's happening? And, uh, hey, we appreciate y'all, man. And we're going to go ahead and anything else uh, you want to say, baby, before, yeah. before we close Yeah, if it's out? some questions, if you have some questions that you want to ask us, I've been trying to get the husband to let's do a sit down, but if you have any questions that you may want us to answer, then we can do like a sit down, mukbang, and answer some more questions. Mm -hmm. What you think? You down for that? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. No problem at all. So let us know how you all enjoyed the video. I know this video is a little longer than usual, but um, we hope you all enjoyed uh, listening, you know, to our, I guess, Q&A. Okay. So, um. I like it. Please. Yeah. So, don't forget, share this video with your grandmama, mm -hmm. your auntie, your mm -hmm. uncle. Yeah. You know, grandmama these days, they be on YouTube. They on him. Cause you know how I know? They trying to holler at my daddy. I'm watching y'all. My daddy and my uncle, I'm watching y'all. They grown. I don't care. So, anyway, y'all. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, and we will catch you guys in the next video. And remember, and everything that you do, to do, do it, it big. big. Boom. Bye, y'all.